like to welcome Ovation viewers to Seven, held in December during Art Week in Miami, Florida. So this is the work of Jonathan Shipper, who is represented by Pierogi Gallery. And at the beginning of the fair, uh, the entire room was arranged in a gentle domestic scene. And there were uh, strings attached to pretty much everything in the room and a fairly small hole in the wall, maybe a foot wide hole in the wall, behind which there's a very powerful winch that is slowly pulling everything into the hole. Above the piece, there's a camera recording this at regular intervals, so there'll be a sort of time-lapse documentation of the piece. Jonathan is a uh, Brooklyn-based artist, and this is the second piece like this that he has done. Um, a lot of his work is kinetic and involves ideas of destruction and uh, decay, and he almost always documents his pieces uh, in a time-lapse manner. This is the work of Leslie Thornton, who is an experimental filmmaker based in New York City, and she is in her mid-60s and has a long career as an avant-garde uh, filmmaker. This is here shot in Switzerland on a mountainside and she's positioned herself between a salt lick and a herd of sheep. In this body of work, which is called binocular, on the left-hand side is the straight feed of the artist's camera. On the right side, the exact same feed is going through simultaneously uh, through a kaleidoscope. We project human emotions and human attributes onto animals, and the kaleidoscope, in my opinion, really accentuates um, those movements. Could you tell us a little bit more about the Seven Art Fair? We started two years ago after doing all of us doing more conventional art fairs here in Miami. In certain ways, these two days after we built and before it opens to the public is sort of the most interesting time because that's when putting it together happens and suddenly there is a fantastic connection. In the main room, for example, there are these two very large paintings of David Diao, one of our postmasters painters. He's an older artist um, and it's combined with with a very young woman painter, Zara Frost, that creates these paintings from uh, uh, discarded uh, computer keyboards. And they both have this great sense of abstraction and expansion and scale and different generation, different gender, different language. Everything is different and yet if you see how the, fantastically these pieces resonate with each other, that's kind of great. Yeah. So, you know, we also operate on huge degree of enthusiasm, as you can tell. We are here at the NADA Fair. We're a nonprofit member-based organization. Um, we're located in New York, though our members are located throughout the world, and they mostly consist of art professionals of in different levels, art advisors, uh, gallery owners, gallery directors, curators. It kind of spans the gamut and we do programming throughout the year for those members. NADA stands for New Art Dealers Alliance. And Liz is actually gonna take us to see some of the galleries inside. We just recently had a show, a solo show by Sarah Croner, and um, we've received lots of great press. She's looking at modernism and particularly the very cold, hard edge abstraction that has dominated the modernist movement. So she's introducing the artist's hand back into this very cold movement. So all of the lines in the paintings are actually sewn lines. Mm -hmm. And you'll see at some point some brush stroke as well. And um, you know, she's kind of merging applied arts with fine arts together. I think it's an amazing venue to have clients that are at all different stages of collecting, whether it's a young collector that just is starting to get their feet wet or somebody who is a veteran and travels the world with you looking for great pieces. Nada has an amazing energy, incredible young emerging gallerists that have a roster of artists that are inspiring and are truly cutting edge, amazing artists that are great to see.